a new study shows that ketones may be beneficial for improving cognitive function and reversing mild cognitive impairment. This is pretty exciting for a field that doesn't have a lot to offer patients. I'm Dr. Brett Scher, the medical director at dietdoctor.com, and I want to talk to you about a, a post I recently wrote at dietdoctor.com about a study that was recently published that involved 83 people, and it was a randomized controlled trial, 83 people with some cognitive impairment, so not advanced dementia or advanced Alzheimer's disease, but more mild cognitive impairment. And it randomized these people to either a placebo drink or an MCT, medium chain triglyceride drink, which is more effective at producing ketones. They then followed these people over six months with multiple different measurements of cognitive function, like you know memory recall, uh, use of words and naming, and, and what they call executive functioning um, uh, tasks. And what they found after six months was those people who were taking the MCT drink had significant improvements in a number of those markers. And they found that those improvements correlated with the increasing ketone level. So what does this suggest? Well, it certainly suggests that simplistically, ketones are good for the brain. When um, we know that the, the brain can use ketones for fuel, and we have lots of anecdotal evidence, some case reports, um, and even some pilot studies and non-randomized trials showing that ketosis is beneficial for dementia or even for Parkinson's and possibly even for traumatic brain injury. So now we have another randomized control trial showing that in mild cognitive impairment, a field where there are, or an area where there aren't many drugs or interventions or things to help um, improve that other than lifestyle, that now this is one more lifestyle intervention that can be beneficial by inducing ketosis. So can we say a ketogenic diet would do the same? Presumably. I mean, it, it seems like it's ketones that make the difference. Could drinking exogenous ketones do the same? Certainly, possibly. Then it's, you know, if you're taking an MCT, it's still endogenously made ketones, meaning your body's making the ketones as opposed to drinking the ketones. But still, the suggestion is the same. Ketones benefit the brain. So this is really exciting. I mean, it's, it's obviously not going to be um, widely accepted after just this one randomized controlled trial, but hopefully this will just be a windfall for more and more studies because let's be honest, people with cognitive dysfunction need help. They're looking for something. So if something as simple as providing them ketones can make a difference, why not? Why wouldn't we do it? So I'm pretty encouraged about it. You can read more about it at dietdoctor.com at our post. It's got links to the articles. And of course, you can find out um, all the other things we have to offer at dietdoctor.com, including our meal plans and our recipes and our whole video library and all our guides and our community support. It's all there for you uh, to help you on your health journey. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day. <music>